Okay, here is my current design for my parachute release cone. Um, it's just testing out my system that I, here, here, I have here on the back, which is of course based on the MSP430 launch pad. Wonderful little thing. $4.30. Didn't even have to pay shipping. Um, so, up here we have a power switch right here. Powers it up. It's powered by a 9 volt right now. I'm thinking about switching to a smaller LiPo, but I don't have one, so I'm using a 9 volt. And right now I have it just for tests set to a 4 second delay. And of course it flashes out the delay here. One, two, three, four seconds. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and then I have my servo and then I made a little G-switch for it right here with a little, um, I guess that's a lever switch. And then I attached a piece of wire then at that I put a 5 ounce fishing weight to, to, so that whenever I, whenever it launches that weight literally stays behind and activates the switch and to demonstrate as you can see it works really well I've, I've never had it fail yet and I hope I never have to have it fail. Um, so I've been using a small piece of foam to simulate the parachute. So I'll go and demonstrate it with the parachute. Hit the reset button. Okay. Now this is just a prototype. I have a smaller servo, a much smaller servo. Um, on its way, but unfortunately it's coming from Hong Kong and it's going to take a few weeks to get here, so I don't have that on here right now. But, um, it should be here probably in a week or so. Um, another thing I did is I, instead of soldering them directly, I used these little connectors that I already had from a, uh, another project. These little connectors in here to connect everything so that I can disconnect everything quite easily and um, yeah so now it's armed so simulate the launch and works really well I've never had it fail which is a good thing I have had I, I did have the my other system fail um, once and that was not good because it left a dent in the car but um, so yeah, I'm actually quite pleased with this so far. I hope I'm going to be able to launch it fairly soon, probably this week. And, um, once I get my smaller servo, I am going to replace it. And I'm thinking about maybe making this a little shorter. Um, this is pretty, this is pretty tall, I think, for the for a rocket. I mean, it's almost like a whole bottle it takes up, so... Uh, let's, oh yeah, and this here I'm going to replace too, because this is from, this is from my old rocket, or my old system, and it got damaged in a crash, so I'm probably going to replace it. It's not even that even very anymore. Um, let's see, I have my, uh, circuit board attached using wires, and just drilled two holes in the board, making sure there was nothing on the other side, of course, and, uh, then stuck this wire through to fasten the board down because uh, for me double sided tape didn't work so I don't know I might have old tape or what I don't know but anyway so hoping this is going to work a lot better and I can't wait to try it out at my new launch site that I recently found so until next time